I was talking with Amy Wattis a little earlier today. She was covering a story at the federal courthouse and walked back to the station. She said it was a pleasant day to be outside. Really. Yeah, the sunshine makes everything feel better, even if there is a little chill in the air. It's a little chilly out there today, but when you have sunshine, nothing to complain about. Oh, no, it makes it everything feel 10,000 times better. And we're going to get more sunshine early tomorrow and just in time for the start of spring. It begins at 558 p.m. And at that exact moment, pumpkin spice and Uggs disappear until next year. That's not true. That's when that's when spring begins and we see the sun's higher angle continue to warm us up all the way through summertime. Now we get 45 degrees in Pittsburgh right now. Temperatures up north in the mid 40s. Generally, our temperatures are in these mid to upper 40s and we're going to keep it cool as we go through the night. Actually, with the clear skies tonight, our temperatures they're falling way off again down into the 20s and with the clear skies and calm winds, it's likely going to be a frosty start to your Wednesday. 45 outside right now, just that light wind out of the northwest at five miles per hour makes it feel like 43 degrees. So a little bit cooler outside than what we would expect for this time of year. Typical temperatures would be near 50. So not a bad day and the sunshine certainly helped and it's thanks to high pressure. Now up north we had additional cloud cover. This is because those winds were coming off the lake and set us up with some lake effect clouds here. But for the most part, they just filtered out the sunshine a little bit and it was still a pleasant day up to the north, maybe held back the temperature a degree or so thanks to that little bit of cloud cover up there. But as our temperatures drop, that lake breeze kills, gets killed and we see the clear skies start to return to much of the area. And this is going to be how we start off our Wednesday bright and sunshiny. However, through the day, our temperatures and cloud cover both increase. By the time we get to 5 p.m., a mostly cloudy setup. Just know some showers are back to the west, mainly near Cleveland, and then through the rest of the evening and into the overnight, our rain chances start to increase. So we'll see these rain showers linger into early Thursday. Through Thursday, a hit or miss shower here or there. I don't think it's going to be a consistent rainfall in any way, shape or form. However, late a few wet snowflakes may try to mix in here, especially into Friday. A few snow showers early on. Those move on and then we start to dry up for the weekend with a little more sunshine and another warming trend. Now tomorrow's rain does not come until late. We get through 5 p.m. 6 p.m. after the evening commute and then our chances are still pretty low at 8 and 9 o'clock 20 or 30 percent chances of rain closer to midnight. Those chances continue to grow through the night. Clear skies. The winds will calm down and temperatures are going to dip into the upper 20s. This is going to set us up for another frosty start. If you had to scrape your windshield this morning, you're likely scraping your windshield again tomorrow morning. 56 degrees is what we're looking at for the high temperature tomorrow. So a warmer day, certainly by about 10 degrees, and that comes with early sunshine, but increasing clouds and late rain chances. Most of the day will be dry though. 55 in the North Hills, Monroeville 56, 57 in the South Hills, even 56 out in Moon. Moving south of Pittsburgh, 56 in Washington, 57 from Waynesburg to Uniontown, and even a little warmer in Morgantown with clouds developing throughout the course of the day. More clouds in the afternoon than what you start off with in Catanning, 55 degrees for your high temperature, 56 in Indiana and Greensburg, 54 in Somerset. North of the city, we're going to see temperatures generally in the mid 50s. 54 from Franklin into Clarion, 55 Newcastle to Butler, and 56 degrees for Beaver. Again, rain chances come into play late, most of the day dry, and you don't really have to worry about rain chances starting to even increase until the evening. Now, Thursday, rain and snow, mostly rain, couple wet snowflakes, scattered snow into Friday, and then we dry it up and warm it up for the weekend. 43 on Saturday, 59 on Sunday and then temperatures start to fall again. So a lot of ups and downs to sort out over the next several days, and it's real easy to keep track of the forecast with the KDKA weather app. It has a radar. If it's rain, if it's snow, you know it's there. Hour by hour forecast, daily forecast. It even has alerts and more. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.